Hello, I am Markus Mahl, Head of Product Marketing Embedded in Data Module. And I'm here on the Embedded World 2013 to show you our latest products, really unique. Uh, our first own developed Q7 module based on the brand new IMX6 CPU from Freescale. It's the first time that the ARM world offers a really high performance CPU for graphic support and you will see here our module already driving a full HD video and it has scalable from single core, dual core up to quad core in standard temperature or extended temperature range. A really unique thing is that we are offering a Linux board support package based on mainline kernel. So it means no updates in the future. We always support the latest Linux version. And more of this I will show you later. Hello, my name is Bernard Steiner. I'm field application engineer at Data Module. And today I'm showing you our easy update feature for our new Q7 module. Currently we have the board configured for the 17 inch Full HD panel and what we are doing now is uh, change the configuration and, and also the content for a smaller uh, display panel. And first off we power off the board, disconnect the current panel. Then we connect a regular uh, USB stick containing an init file to tell the board what to do. The board will automatically uh, check on every boot for this USB stick and for a certain file on it to, to check uh, if an update uh, is to do. And now we start the board again. Now we see here an LED telling us uh, that we are now in the update mode. So now we are uh, transferring um, the new configuration file for the display interface and also uh, a new version of the root file system. And when this LED is starting to, uh, to blink, like now, then it tells us, okay, update, update is finished, everything is fine. Then we power off the board again, remove the USB drive and connect the new panel. and power up again. There we go. Now we have here a um, different root file system containing a different uh, slideshow. And also what you can see here is the new display configuration for the seven inch display. And that's about it. Besides the outstanding graphic performance of our new IMX6 module based on Q7 standard is our DisplayPort interface. I think it's the first module supporting directly DisplayPort from the module and we are supporting our Easy Touch solution is a projective capacitive touch solution that we can see here already based on a QT interface, QT graphic user interface you can very easily implement and uh, based here on a 7-inch display. Another point is we are supporting up to 4 GB DDR3 RAM and 8 USB ports and sure we have a very unique bootloader PCI Express, LPC and i bus. Concerning x86 in the embedded world uh, data module developed its first own mini ITX port with own features not usual in the mini ITX market. Sure, there are many of uh, manufacturers out in the market, but Data Module said, okay, from a display company, we want to have really unique features concerning displays. And the AMD platform with the Fusion, uh, we made two versions with a T4TE, that means we have it completely passive cooled, and we have an active cooled version with a T56. Uh, the unique feature of this Mini-ITX is that you have two independent LVDS 
sports that can drive independent full HD videos. Another point is that we have an onboard DC-DC converter, so it's possible to use it only with 12 volt DC in or 24 volt DC in. Now you can see data module, it's not only display, data module is now as well embedded with own unique products. More information you will find on our homepage. Thank you.